Today on Your World. When did this all start? He wanted us to work on a certain project. It materialized? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're eight months in. I'm a bit scared because the rate of divorce is really high. Tuna date to Yani. See, you have to pay a rainbow. Marriage is a scam. <laughs> and I don't want to discourage them. <laughs> Guess who is back? Your favorite breakfast show, Your World, is back. And this time, bigger, better, with bolder conversation. And today on the show, on our maiden rebrand of Your World, we'll be tackling a group or a generation that has been considered millennials on steroids. Who are we talking about? We are talking about the Gen Z's this morning and we'll be focusing on the Gen Z equation. First of all, what is it like dating as a Gen Z? What is it like being married as a Gen Z? What is it like raising a Gen Z? And do they feel understood? Do they feel heard? So it's gonna be an amazing conversation this morning right here on Your World. My name is Winnie Lubembe, but before we get into the conversation, here are random facts about the Gen Z's. First of all, we're really, really excited to be back for a new season and a new rebrand of the show, and that is Your World. And today, we want to start with a conversation that everybody is talking about, all right? And we are talking about the Gen Zs, and in this case, we'll be highlighting marriages, okay? And I know, I know, majority of you, when we talk about marriage, you're like, yeah, did these children are getting married and they're getting babies so these babies are getting babies at the same time i know it's, it's a whole lot uh, of the same but uh we'll just again talk to the gen z's here on set today and just get to understand what is that like my uh guest today they've been married for eight months so but honeymoon stage yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we just want to understand first of all why the decision to get married because a lot of people will consider them still young okay so what informs the decision and you know how is everything going so far okay but we also have a lovely audience uh with us today yay yay to you guys you all look lovely uh okay what i see gen z's i know they look like gen z's all of them <laughs> but we have different age groups as well uh in our audience this morning to also help us really understand and bring this topic um to light but before we talk to uh our lovely lovely audience and get to hear what they have to say we have evans and becky is it kiso kisu yes Ki kiso yeah. <laughs> good to have you you guys thank you for thank having you so us. much imagine you guys are like among our first guests oh, yeah. on a wow. relaunch of wow. your world that's wow. mm. wow. nice right we're, honored. <laughs> we're also honored to have you guys thank, uh, on you. Set. thank you so much for being to come and speak to us about marriage in general right and Not gen z's just... and relationships and all those things and what the previous generations are saying yeah. as far as marriage is concerned mm -hmm. but really mm -hmm. let's get to understand <laughs> when did this all start when did you guys meet how did you guys meet and what is that process like i'm gonna start with you oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> trust that <laughs> what happened so um well we have different versions Okay. But I'll give, I, I think I'll give mine. Then yeah, give a short you. version and then yeah. short version. Yeah. Okay. Um, we met during COVID. Right. Uh, but Hi, COVID. <laughs> came with good things too. Yes. Yes, it did. Uh, yeah. But sometime back, we realized we were actually in the same primary school. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we were in the same primary school, but we, we didn't know each other as much. Mm -hmm. So we met during COVID uh, in church. Mm -hmm. um, Nothing much happened. We disconnected for like two years. Then we met again during a friend's ratio. Okay. So when we connected this time, he wanted us to work on a certain project together. Yeah. And project. It's oh, like this. Yeah. Yeah. Project. <laughs> project. <laughs> yeah. So we met during uh, a friend's ratio. Uh, we talked. Uh, we had disconnected for two years, yeah. so it was more of catching up. Yeah. What have you been up to, Nini yeah. Nini? Mm -hmm. 
then he talked about the project yeah and i think this is the project he was actually talking right about. <laughs> <laughs> the project finally yeah, it, 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 happened. It was, yes. Yeah, we're eight months in. Eight Seeing months in. Good, the project right. is doing very well. It's doing good. It's doing good now. A lot of people would say people don't meet organically anymore. Yeah. Um, people don't. You know the, the, the classic examples. Go to a supermarket. Yeah. You never know. You might find your husband yeah. or wife. Uh, go to church. Okay, yeah. you guys met in church. Yeah. Uh, that's good. <laughs> but a lot of people are resorting to online dating. Yes. Yeah. Which are yes. stories. I'm curious to say, is there anybody who's tried online dating before? You, you're smiling. <laughs> You've tried <laughs> online dating before. It's not right. Okay. All right. We'll come back to you. But a lot of people are resorting to that mm -hmm. online dating. Mm -hmm. When going to character development, I a good know. one, mm -hmm. and, and, and to others it's actually worked, yeah. which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. But for you guys, so dated for how long? Uh, one year. One year? Yeah. Two years, actually. Close to two years. Yeah. Close to two years. Yeah. Dated close yes. to two, two years. What, what, what did you learn of each other during this dating period? Because you guys, Gen Zs, yeah. you're, again, I'm very cautious saying you're pretty young. <laughs> <laughs> it's relative in this case. Two years. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how was that like? Because mm. a lot of people would would um, think of dating, you know, like the old ways, yeah. get caught on a date and yeah. all those things. Yeah. But how was that like for you guys? What did you learn about each other? They were like, red flag. First of all, this is not the first relationship we have had. We have yeah. had previous relationships and we have learned from them to ask the right questions at the, at the start, okay. at the beginning. Okay. You know, because yeah. it's like, we talk about me, 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 and saying it as yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. So that the caveat, okay, because we know that she can't be perfect. She can't yeah. be perfect. I can't be Mr. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So what are your flaws? Mm -hmm. Can I deal with them? Can yeah. I handle them? So our dating was very structural to some yeah. level. Okay. Yeah. What are your traumas as a child? <laughs> Are you carrying them? <laughs> I'm so right? Yeah. Do you know me? I'm listening to you guys. I'm thinking, what? Me? You ask me those questions the first day. <laughs> ah, flag. red flag. You will never see me again ah, because why yeah. are you looking at my traumas? Yes. You ask me what's my favorite color first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but also during your first date, again, we we're discussing this um, before we came on air. Yeah. He he did he ask to marry you or did he say he wants to marry you? No, actually, it was just the first date. Okay. We had gone for like uh, the first, the second. This was the second date okay. after he asked me to be your girlfriend. Okay. So he was telling me, but maybe I don't want to waste time. I'm very serious about this. Yeah. So if we are not, if we are not going to end up in marriage, then we'd rather not do it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So he said, if in fact if you say yes, I'm going to marry you in two months. <laughs> did that scare you though? Like, did <laughs> that? <laughs> what, what, what did you make of that? Actually, laughed at his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? First of all, I think he's joking because we are Kikuyus, first of all. The yes. process is take like one year, you know? Yeah. So I knew it was just uh, a... Was... The intention was right. <laughs> the intention <laughs> the was project. right. The project. Yes. <laughs> project timelines. We are Kenyan, so you yes. understand yeah. the yeah. dynamics. It didn't scare you. It didn't you. scare window. Okay. Uh, and we are very, like I said, we are very intentional about having those very difficult conversations. Yeah. Before we get into marriage, and we are like, wow. You went through this, so now I have to deal with your traumas, you know. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to have those conversations before we got married and know, are we going to do this? Yeah, is, is it there something, something that, that I is, can live yes, with or not? Yes, I, yeah. I re you know what? I am really inspired by, by you guys. Wow. Honestly, I mean, I was telling yeah. you guys earlier, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm still children. I mean, my heart is, <laughs> and I'm still children. I'm babies. I'm still babies. Yes. And, and, and just listening to the conversations that now mm. Gen Z's are having while dating, yeah. these are the conversations that even when you go to like premarital counseling and what are those yeah. when you're engaged yeah. is when you start talking about traumas, mm. uh, you know, all those yeah. things. But yeah. this is happening earlier on yeah, yeah, in the dating yeah. space, yeah. which is nice. Okay, fine. So you dated for <laughs> one and a half, two, two, years. Two, close to yeah. two years. Yeah. And Shasema project, project wants to get married. Yes. <laughs> yeah. At what point did you, first of all, propose, mm. okay? And, and and what was the reaction to, you know, and, and especially from the <laughs> other people? <laughs> they could end it. So, yeah. uh, nine months in, uh, we decide, okay, I decide, yeah. let me now formalize this so that I can start the a thousand processes. <laughs> so we are cross-cultural, by the way, so I'm kind yeah. Our yeah. processes are very mm. minute. Yeah. Actually, it's just one and you're good That's to go. Really. So I wanted to do it early so that uh, we can start on the others mm. quickly. Yeah. Uh, 
before then, we no one knew we were dating, and just close friends. Yeah. But when we did, wait, the, like your families. Family. My man knew. My man knew. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. You know, as millennials, we're not feature. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it. Feature. Hey. So yeah. my parents, everyone on my side, had no clue. No yeah. idea. No idea. But from the proposal, she said yes. Now, hey, now you can know. The whole world. Yeah, you're coming to your parents and telling them, listen, Siti, I have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I have a fiance. Yeah. Actually, yeah. this is like we are planning this date. We want to get married. <laughs> we were giving them. The what date. was the reaction? So, um, hey, it was. It was honestly cinematic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> ah, so we have the audience. This is not watch movie. <laughs> <laughs> so all the questions from who you are to talk about, who you are are you sure? Where you Kwanza Uko Sawa? You know, you know what this means, and all these questions yeah. are coming, and you're like, yeah. okay, mini So this is all yeah. resorted to discover yeah. as we go later yes. on. Yeah. What was the reaction from your side? Because I mean, listen, for, 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 for ladies it's usually yeah. different, a bit strict if yeah. I can say, because yeah. the parents are like, first of all, you're a child. Yeah. Uh, you don't know these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so my parents were scared. Yeah. Uh, I was newly employed. Yeah. I graduated in 2021. Yeah. He proposed towards the end of 2022. Yes, correct. Yes, towards the end of 2022. So they were right. like, I don't know if I can't do it. I don't know if I can't do it. I don't know if I can't do it. I love that notion. I think I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. 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 You're too young, and like I said, my aunties are career women. Yes. So like they really focused uh, on studies. Yeah. You know, they were very stable financially yeah. before they committed yeah. uh, to marriage. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So the reaction was like, "You guys are rushing. Yeah. You need to slow down. You yeah. don't know what you're getting yourself into." into. Yeah. But because the two of us were decided, yeah. they just had to to yeah. comply. Yeah. They just had to at some point. Do you have those was, no Zilla threats? Zilla is like if hey. you decide to go with this <laughs> <laughs> bye. Forget. Not really, yeah. but the, the, we had very hard conversations. Yeah, okay. Sometimes it, it will get very ugly, you know, mm -hmm. because now uh, our parents our parents I don't know. I, I don't know whether it's because of a past yeah, one, yeah. but whatever your parents say, is, it goes. It goes, yeah. 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 I have yeah. your parent. I know, so you should yeah. need to be getting married now. Yeah. And then here I am asking why. Yeah. Why? Why should you try and get married now? Mm -hmm. I am done with school. I am working. I feel ready. You yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, thank God we're here now. I mean, yeah. I, I, I am want to go back. I, I am really. I am really <laughs> it's, inspired. Yeah. And 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 based on first of all mm -hmm. the conversation that starts. Mm -hmm. um, um, to the intentionality, yeah. to taking the steps, mm -hmm. to questioning <laughs> societal norms, to taking yeah. that step and say, hey, listen, this is our life yeah. and this is what we want. And, and, and that's it. No further questions. Thank you very much. Yeah. And you're here. Mm -hmm. What were some of the first things that you learned after getting married? Mm -hmm. And you're like, Ooh, wait, what did I sign <laughs> myself up to? <laughs> Should I have taken more time, maybe? <laughs> uh, so I, I wouldn't say they were extreme, but there were things that I had men who are you know who had gone ahead of me telling yeah. me during the the ceremony conversation yeah. so ukipata hi mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay don't be scared so yeah. there are those caveats that you'll be told that you know this thing happens yeah um you know she's a woman she's yeah. very emotional and stuff yeah mine is very very Logi different logical logical yeah. you know yeah. This but thing doesn't mean that emotional thing. You have like, after you, you have emotional stuff. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. You do, but there's a way we process our emotions that yeah. doesn't make it so. It's not really funda yeah. fundamental. Yeah. So, um, her being emotional was something I wasn't really ready to to encompass. Yeah. So when she become okay, why why is it okay? But see, this makes sense. Why are you doing this? You yeah. Know? So those things are things in me. I agree. I yeah. will learn as we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah okay take it a day at a time yeah, okay i'm gonna open this to the audience right now um i'm really curious and especially we have gen z's yeah. and we have other generations there eh? ours and uh, all the above okay yeah. we have a tw we have two 20 year olds and i'm curious to hear from you guys um we were talking about this earlier on like do you have looking at the marriages that's you see, or relationships, do you feel inspired? Do you not feel inspired? I'm, yeah, let's start with you, the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> so I start with your name and then tell us, do you feel inspired and, and listening to their story? Well, 
and the other generations do you feel inspired to you know relationships and work my name is Nelly mm-hmm. and um according to them mm-hmm. it's a bit inspiring but concerning with out here mm-hmm. i'm a bit scared okay because the rate of divorce it's really high yeah. you just look at one couple love them you see that it's a perfect match yeah. but after a period of maybe a month or two mm-hmm. they've dispersed yeah. divorce is on the ground like yeah <laughs> Not ready. Not ready. Not You're ready. not ready. Okay. All right. Uh, let's hear from you. We also have another 20 year olds just behind you. <laughs> are you inspired? What are some of these dynamics that you're, you're seeing now that has changed as far as dating compared to what you have seen before, like the previous generations? My name is Julius. And um, okay, I would say that, uh, okay, first of all, marriage is cool. It's good. Uh, yeah. Yeah because I've seen it from my parents and uh, people before this generation. Mm-hmm. But for the changes that have come, we are in the Gen Z and uh, yeah. we're so much focused on online and, uh, you know, the, the, the generation pe- uh, before us focused on uh, how things should be, mm-hmm. but we are focusing on how things should appear, yeah. more of how things should appear. So we focus so much on uh, how I seen mm-hmm. as uh, being a part of a relationship or being in a relationship okay. how do i appear in with my peers how do i look like such and such stuff so we don't focus so much on the character and uh, the in thing like the stuff that we should see in a person we focus on so much of how do they appear in the public yeah. how would the relationship seem to the public and so such stuff and that's okay. why marriages nowadays uh, don't work out so they're here with, there. with yeah so okay well. i see that do we have a millennial i want to hear from a millennial listening to them and and listening to their story what, what do you make of do you have questions because i'm curious first of all do you have questions for them <laughs> <laughs> i'm Catherine gadecha and I'm 43 years old. Yeah. See, when you want to say more, I can't but I... You, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so many people disagree, but I am that age, mm-hmm. you know. And I feel myself, because I was once in a marriage, yeah. and then it just broke. Okay. How old were you when... When it broke? Yeah. I, I was... It lasted for 18 years. 18 years? Yes. Wow. And it broke. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I could not take it in the long run. All right. So for me, I feel marriage is a scam. Ooh. And I don't want to discourage them. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you see, like for me right now, it is so unfortunate because I cannot find this young age without, without maybe the, being the divorcees. You know, right now I find married men. They want me. Okay. You understand? All right. So, suwezi pata mtu wa mwenye ajaowa. Okay. So, unfortunate like for all me. Like, wamechukuli wa wote. Yeah, oh, wamechukuli wa wote. <laughs> so, I'm, a, I'm, I'm also a threat to the society. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh <don't. laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and again, you know, I'm a msani. Yeah. So, msani, umara nyingi. I'm not discouraging them because yes. they are also a sadist. Yes. Yeah, I'm telling them out of experience. So zengine ni ngumu kukaa na yule mume. Because you want to travel the shit iko Mombasa. Yeah. And then you stay here in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. So utaweza utaenda kukaa uko 3 days. Yeah. You spend 3 days there and then you come back. Yeah. What kind of a wife are you? Yeah. You need to be divorced. Okay. Yeah, or I find that by uh, a side chick. Someone cheat. else. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, be for me. Yeah. But but looking at how the Gen Zs are, like, the, the dating situation, yeah. you know, what's the matter? From, from situation ship, now it's situation ship, mm-hmm. and soft, eh? soft landing, soft ball, soft mm-hmm. landing. Something mm-hmm. like soft landing, yes. eh? Mm-hmm. So, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> soft landing. Mm-hmm. So, so when you look at, at, at this dynamics, mm-hmm. I mean, being from... When you were dating up until you got married, and right, unfortunately no. the marriage did mm-hmm. not last, mm-hmm. to now Gen Z is taking charge and saying, "Listen, yes, we are young, but we're going to get married, mm-hmm. and we, this is what we want." Mm-hmm. What do you make of that? I wish the the the, the girl or the boy mm-hmm. were taken somewhere, okay, and told what is 
what is awaiting for them. Mm. Okay. Because naturally or in many times, eh, yeah. you'll find that they don't tell you. Okay. So, you can get a palindu na pata. Eh, okay. Kwe wana eza kukuangalia vibaya. And uh, you know, the thing they was like, hey, hey, just love, you know, sweetie. Yeah. And stuff, you yeah. know. So, ikifika palindu na kuwa challenge, uku wana juwa. Okay. You didn't know. Yeah. And eza kukufuria. Yani, wati pesa leo. Eh, eh. Na fia, kato antakula nini. Yeah. So... Unaona, and yeah. I'm, after you the woman, still, you, you still need your support as a true, woman. True, true. You marry any one who appears and I'm cute and I love them. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a break it's that true. marriage. Yeah. So, kama unge kwa mejuwa awali that this thing ziko na challenges zake. Yeah. Mara nyingi huwa atuambiwi. Okay. Yeah. I see that. Mm. What do you guys make of that? So, an inspired, eh, eh, kumsi kumsa, kutu hapo. And this one is like, hey, marriage is a scam. Every aspect of life has its own challenges. Yeah. And you can't always run away from all these challenges. So, like I said, we had these difficult conversations before we got married. Not to say that we don't encounter challenges because yeah. we had those the conversations. <laughs> <laughs> the mug. Yeah, but yeah. I'd say, yes, marriage is risky, but that risk is worth it when you have the right person, okay. you know? Because you're like-minded, you, you always come back and find a balance. You always uh, want to go back to each other, mm -hmm. you know? There's nothing that can come. Nothing too yeah. greater, too, there's nothing greater than the two of you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Many of our, our expectations and ambitions of marriage, including our very own, has yeah. been very perfect. Mm -hmm. But logically speaking, even with uh, just putting things on merit, you have lived in families before. You have been a sibling, you have been a child. It hasn't been rosy, it has yeah. been... Every relationship has its own. Yes. Has yeah. So it would be yeah. very unfair for me to expect mm -hmm. rosiness from my kids or my marriage I'm telling me, with my mug the <laughs> and All it, right. I am mean, say it may not be like that every day but yeah. there are days where you get to have the best days yeah. you get to days get to uh, you know have the lowest bad yeah. good days and I it's all worth it. I yeah. see that. How old are you guys again? Because you do, uh, well, listen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, wisdom. Wisdom. What quite inspired? I'm a bit inspired, but according to our generation, the Gen Z, you find I'm a lady. If I get a guy, he'll expect me to treat him the way his father was being treated by his mother yeah. in back years, but... According to my generation, I can't do the same. Yeah. You see, he has so high expectations for me that I can't reach. And also have different expectations. You have to understand me as a Gen Z and stuff, but he expects another thing, another version of me that I can't provide. So a bit, maybe if he'll be able to reason with me as a Gen Z, it's okay, it's okay, but if not, yeah. No. Listen, it, it's been really nice talking to you guys. And honestly, I, I'm inspired. And, and based on the conversations that are happening during the dating phase, mm -hmm. because for us, it's, what's your favorite color? Mm. You know, what, what's your favorite food? <laughs> talking stage. Yeah, to the cup of yeah. three years talking stage. And then five years coaching. Yeah, and then we get married. <laughs> and then we get married for two months. For two months. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. But okay. <laughs> So listen, let's take a break. But when we come back, we need to speak to a parent, to a Gen Z, just to get to understand. So what is it like, you know, parenting a Gen Z? Oh. And, you know, have they changed in terms oh. of how they parent um, their child? But, uh, hey, V, listen, I have no words. Okay, so see you after this break. <laughs> but thank you so much for, for really thank sharing you for your story us. Uh, but, with us. And we wish you all the very best. Thank you. I inspire our two. Thank you. Inspired <laughs> but see you after the short break. Yenisi vya nyama watu wana date date hivi sengine ni ngumu kuelewa First of all unapata mtu sababu yeye haja haja seto sasa hata uko confused akue na nani si huyu si yule jo anaongopa kuacha huyu akue sasa mwenye ameacha ndio ule wake rasmi Hama andetu mwingine na mwingine na mwingine at the same time kwa kuja wajuani and you at the moment wa mejuana amekosa wote. Wasichana wanasumbua sana. So unaweza pata kuna msichana mahali. Sasa kama mimi sasa mimi 
before niyo nilikuwa na msichana mmoja saa huyo msichana ikakuwa anakuja unaweza muita tena na unaweza kana ye it's like na kienda pia unaweza pata mwingine ametokea hapo naye ukimkuba yani unamjaribu tu uonekane zaingia box na anaingia box so unaweza pata pia sa ule mwenye ulikuwa naye au unamsahau unapita na huyo mwingine una big deal pale kwa dating at g for marriage kitu kama hiyo ah msioni hapo tuna date tu yani si unjua tu pia huko na mrembo Welcome back. The show is uh, Your World and today, I mean, this is our launch week and we are starting big and we're starting with very important conversations with the group that is considered, one would say, millennials on steroids, okay? Now, we want to address something else, okay, but still in relation to the Gen Z's and this is parenting and we have parents here on set uh, with us this morning to really help us understand. First of all, has parenting changed over time with the Gen Z's? What are some of the biggest challenges or what is the fun thing um, to do with the Gen Z's? Uh, and this is as far as being a parent. Uh, and of course, we also have our lovely audience as well who are still here with us um, as well. And, and we'd also want to hear your views as far as parenting. What is your relationship like with your parents? Do you feel on our Kazia Sana? They are all up in your business. But for now, we have Christine Butua, who's a mom to Gen Z's, 25, 22, and 18. 18. Gen Thank you so Z much proper. for your time. And we also have Catherine yes. to talk about parenting. Because again, you were pretty young. Okay, again, young is relative, okay, uh, in this case. But again, from what you said, is you, you got your child when you were very young. 20, 20, 21, 22, yeah, 20, 20, they're about, they are. 22, they're mm -hmm. about. And now your child, your son is 20? He's, he's 19 and a half. 19 and a half, uh, turning 20. Yeah. Where? Okay. So what is it like? I'm going to start with you. What is it like? Three of them. It's a mixed bag. Yeah. I, I think they are very interesting group to be around with okay uh they shock you many times <laughs> uh, but i i enjoy a very good relationship with the three of them all right so i i, I think that helps me to uh gel with them okay. of course sometimes it's not easy yeah but i must say it's a mixed bag. Do you understand some of half of the things they say? Come. No, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, I have become their student. Really? Yes, what? because uh, sometimes my son will come and say, Morio, bro. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, and it's like, okay, so what do you mean? So I have become their student. So okay. in that way, <laughs> I'm learning did every they day. You, did they tell you what Morio means? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> at how you know you raised your son mm -hmm. and now how the relationship is like mm -hmm. how would you how would you categorize that relationship i cannot even explain yeah because being a parent of a teenage yeah it's another thing it's another thing mm -hmm. okay yeah because you really realize that mm -hmm. they are they are smoking mangi Boy. yes they are smoking smoke. shisha okay they are taking Mira, okay. and the government is out there yeah. okay, well, fighting well, back. Yeah. But I'm telling you, it's terrible. And you realize mm -hmm. at the end of mm -hmm. it all. Yeah. Yes. Most parents would would say, no, but my child does not do that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. And there's a lot. Mine yeah. does. Okay. Yeah, and it has, it has been chaotic. Mm -hmm. And uh, even the world has been against me. Mm -hmm. And the fact that being a single mother mm -hmm. is another disaster. Okay. Yeah. All right. You face challenges. Yeah. Because you're like, ah, ah, single mother, I do it, could I am total. Okay. <laughs> then you're like, okay, yeah. so you could I am total. But it's not manual. So yeah. yeah. Because we're, we're, you learn. I mean, they say that. I'm, yeah. I'm not a parent myself. Mm -hmm. You learn. Yeah. The fact that there is no manual is good. Okay. However, I think there are principles. Yeah. If you look at our parents, how they raised us, mm -hmm. um, I, I think there are certain things that they followed. Okay. 
I grew up in the village, so yeah. maybe you'd be told uh, 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 when someone comes. There are certain ways you're supposed to behave. Yes. Uh, exactly. So, so that means, <laughs> although there is no manual per se, mm. there are principles. Yes. And, and I think those principles are applicable all over the world. Mm -hmm. It is the particulars that are different. Okay. For example, mm. the way I was brought up mm -hmm. is so different from the way I'm bringing up these ones. For example, uh, for us, the sun would never rise before you, um, which is completely opposite of this generation. <laughs> for them, sleep, my daughter tells me she has a special relationship with the bed. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you see, yeah. so you see, I had to think about, because there's a reason why our parents told us to wake up early. Mm -hmm. I, I think they wanted to teach us a few things, work ethics, yeah. etc., etc., mm. So now, uh, I realized there was conflict okay. right there. Mm -hmm. But then we had to move on. So it's like, okay, so how do I help this girl learn about some good time management okay. in a way she can understand? All right, yes. So, so, so it's the, the principle is the same, okay. but you have to apply it. Different. The particular is different. What is this one thing that they do? And you just look at them and think, Sasa, maybe, who's the parent here? Yeah. Is it me or is it you? Eh. Yeah. Like now I took him to a to a to a mm -hmm. child raising school, yeah. Okay. Now I like uh today no, a month a month in the a month course, yeah. Yeah. So when I'm Aliza Araka Araka Asha Maliza and then I'm like Sasa hapa online kuna makazi nimetumiwa angalia uone si and then yeah. you, you, you apply yeah ama hiyo hiyo zi hiyo tia zi umio nada hiyo nda sasa yeye anataka kufanya nini wewe unataka gani what do you want yeah haya zingine kama mimi ni msanii kwangu hata ukinangalia kwa kwa YouTube channel that I'm part of, come a Catherine Gadecha. So I'm like, see how to wangali is when you need to go for some. You apply, you know, you apply because I'm at a year of no go some. Yeah. In him. Yeah. Ana kuambia, yo age one be sema apan. You see ang. You see ang. No one be ani ako. Ujari buto. Unaza baatika. Anto yun sa idea kulipo ani uba. You know. Yeah. Nasa ata sa kuni yaman ni panya ni kapua accused. I didn't know the bank. <laughs> then I was like, so of the no, I knew me she came corner. Soon as she came corner, to see mommy. You know, yeah. I need your hand. Yeah. Do you mean me seeing a moment? Yeah. I'm I'm single and I'm searching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just see. You know what? Let's open the door to the oh my gosh. Okay, well then I've laughed it today. <laughs> Let's open it to the audience. Um I'm curious to hear from you guys. Uh, as far as parenting is concerned, do you feel you're relating with your parents? Like, do you feel your parents understand you guys? Do you feel misunderstood by your parents? My name is Margaret. Okay, like, one thing, they don't want to understand you in the first place. Also, with our generation, not how we used to do things. Now you're different, yeah. you want to do your own things, but they don't want to understand. Yeah. So one thing, they should learn how to listen mm -hmm. so that they can come up with maybe the ideas. They listen to you. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. but for them, our turkey. Yeah. So you're like, sour. <laughs> but no, they should listen to what we want. Okay. Yes. We need to literally end this session um, of, 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 the, of the show. But I just want to hear from you in terms of for starting that relationship because at the end of the day you are the parent they are the child right so they have to there has to be that cordial relationship so what are some of these things that you mm -hmm. that set your foot down and said listen mm -hmm. at the end of the day we mm -hmm. have parents mm -hmm. first start your relationship between you and your son so that you coexist in africa happen challenges later in life yeah 
yenye hatapenda pia yeye mm. na pia mimi sitapenda sentiment okay. right. at the same time si kwa nambrace akuwe na hiyo tabia yeah. ya uzembe yeah. ya kuanza ignorance au watoto <laughs> what can <laughs> ignorance <laughs> <laughs> they are very ignorant yeah, eh? yeah, you know yeah, yeah unamwambia mm-hmm. anakwambia usiposi baufa utajenga ukuta mm. na mimi sitaki kujenga ukuta kwa sababu mm-hmm. mimi sina za kujenga ukuta nazo uh-huh. you know yeah, yeah being a parent si tusema tu ni nyanyase kwa uh-uh. sababu kuna siku anakwambia ah yeah. hii ni torture hii ni torture hii <laughs> child rights <laughs> child i know right. my rights <laughs> i know kwa sababu wish wapeleka shule that is the worst part <laughs> as a parent yeah. amesha jua kuna rights zake ah ah unaniambia ati nene nikaombe maji si ngua ah ah that is not that yeah that's the pia ni child labor wazazi wengi huwa wanakuja kwangu sijui kwa nini sijui ni na nini unaona i mean watoto wengi si wazazi watoto wengi huwa wanaja kwangu they want to tell me what they're experiencing ah okay you understand so kwangu naona pia this that challenge ya mzazi Our, our parents mm-hmm. that is we mm-hmm. we are not listening to our kids <laughs> okay, yeah okay. we don't give them much time mm. with them ndio wakwe wanatueleza ni nini anapitia yeah because yeah. the same thing yenye mimi nilikuwa napitia mtoto nataka kujua mtoto anaendelea vipi mm. that is how i found out yeah. his smoking bangi oh, and it was okay. really heartbreaking i can imagine i yeah. can imagine because no parent wants yeah. their child to go that we all yeah. tunataka waende line yeah. But sometimes things happen that you could lose yeah. a parent. So mm. foster that relationship so that your child can come and talk to you. Mm-hmm. Ako be mom, na nearly be introduced to bag yeah. and then you see what you can do. First of all, I, I think it's good for the young people to know yeah. there is a big gap, mm-hmm. very big gap between us. I am I'm not even millennials, I'm generation X. Yes. So there is a digital gap, there is an economic gap, there is a social mm. gap. Yeah. I mean they are quite enough spoken now on sexuality ex- climate change exactly. all the things in you, you sometimes you don't even think about yes yeah. so so I, i i think for us parents and that's the realization yeah. is that we must look for ways of bridging that gap yeah because ukienda if, if you decide you're going the way your parents went yeah. it won't help yes. mm-hmm. so you think of okay like this digital gap how yeah. do you bridge it yeah this marriage whatever how do we bridge it yeah. for me that's where as parents then we need to be very intentional about our parenting mm-hmm. like for example i keep encouraging my parents and mm-hmm. and i'm glad because i'm not just a generation z parent yeah. i teach at the university so i'm ah, interacting with them. with them i teach at the state university yes. so i'm interacting with them yeah. so one has got to be very intentional you have to yeah Mm-hmm. intentional like uh, if you are expecting a child start the conversation here yes. yeah start it here when yeah. they come out start it mm-hmm. continue yeah right now we can talk anything yeah. with my kids with for example in this dating and whatever i yeah. realize they yeah. have many questions so my daughter challenged me and i wrote a book mm-hmm. called do not marry a poor man mm. basically yeah. to to encourage that conversation yeah that so in a nutshell i'm saying there's a big gap yes. between the generations yeah. and and you guys we are aware of that gap mm-hmm. we are trying our best mm-hmm. so forgive us where we fail <laughs> we are really trying our best but on the part of the parents yeah. we've got to be very intentional yeah. about narrowing yeah. that gap otherwise yeah. we we'll lose our kids that's true and it's not good and that's a really really good point to really end this part of the conversation so thank you so much to both of you um different perspectives very informative perspectives and i like the fact that you're saying listen we are trying at yeah. least no one taught us we are trying <laughs> we are trying <laughs> our very best uh, we'll be right back after this so take a look What's up everybody? Welcome to a new segment right here on your world called Winnie Tries. Winnie Tries basically is a segment where I try different things, sometimes get out of my comfort zone and just experience life as you would. And today like I said, maybe it's a co conductor, all right? So today we are going to make sure that this mat eh, is filled and I will get you experience what it takes to first of all to pop us our too but also make sure that you give them their correct change in due time understand all the stages the yonafa kushuka 
but most importantly, just experience what life as a conductor is. Comfortable. Naomba pesa. One of the things that we usually take for granted is thinking that it's easy to, you know, get the bus fare and get the change and still uh, make the math math, okay? Like right now, I'm like, one, two, how much is this? One, two, three, four, five, five fifty, five sixty, seventy-eight. I have 580 shillings. And yet, I have tried one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people. The math is kidogo. Yeah. <laughs> but this is such an interesting conversation. So the next time you see your donda, please respect them. Because math. Madam Nashuka, happy? Oh, roasters. Ah, yeah. Kadere, kadere. Ashukishe roasters. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm Genuinely, Anthony, Melita Anthony. Oh, you're near. Oh, that's how one is that you could separate. Yako, like six, so we're some of you coaching Yako. So, Gioni, a Ukenda Penesa Buzenu, and that you separate Pesayako, na Yakas, Hilo to Melipa and Pesa. Hilo, you are. I'm going to be a kid. Oh. Right back. Hey, 
Nimepewa 100%. Mimi naweza. Ancho, niko na zawadi yako. Kuja hapa. Kuja. Eh. Eh. Si ndio? Changamka basi. Wacha nipe Ancho zawadi yake. Nimekuwa nimekuwa donda na wewe leo. So hii ni ya kusema asante sana. Shati ya enti. Eh? Nimesema usukurani. Asante sana. Aya, wewe naleta watu. Wacha nimalize kazi. I mean guys, listen. At the end of the day, what I initially thought about this particular work and that is squad donda for a day. <laughs> Let me tell you. Kidogo for some will inchanga, but all in all, it's an amazing amazing experience that I had uh, you know to to experience uh, today right here on your world. So if there is anything else that you want me to try, feel free to engage with us on our socials. That is at MTV Kenya, at your world, and at Lubembe underscore win. And let me know what you want to see me try next time. You never know. I might come to your place or to your place of work. Until then, see you. Bye-bye. After that conversation, now I know you have a sort of like different perspectives as far as Gen Zs are concerned, and that is from being a Gen Z to dating as a Gen Z to parenting a Gen Z. But overall, the views that Gen Zs have as far as life is concerned, relationships, and all those things, and I can totally say. I have been inspired by today's conversation and I know that you have been. But hey, listen, if you want to interact with us, feel free to engage with us on our socials. And that is at NTV Kenya, both on Facebook and on X. And tag me as well at Lubembe underscore Winnie and follow us as well on your world. But if you think that we are done with the Gen Z's, absolutely not. In our next episode, we'll be talking about career as a Gen Z. So it's the 8 to 5 p.m waste of time we'll be finding out on the next episode but for now have yourselves a lovely day ahead see you tomorrow oh sorry madam